and then we have the sash. You want the sash too? Oh god, I have not worn this in so long. Uh, I think I placed fourth, third runner up international. Yeah, I don't really like the crown because I think it's a little pretentious. I think it's a little silly, but I like this sash because I think it means more to me. Because I feel like this is more like, like this is the title. This is just the crown, but this is the title, I feel like. Like this is what I earned, not the <laughs> costume on my head. Costume piece on my head. Emma Watson once said, Girls should never be afraid to be smart. After placing fifth in debate regionals and scoring a 1330 on the SATs at 12 years old, I agree that intelligence is empowering. Like, I want to call myself a social butterfly. Like, I really like being with people. I'm definitely extroverted. I love, I like group settings more than I like one-on-one, -on -one, like, hangouts or something. But, and pageantry really let me do that because not only did it allow me to like travel but it like let me meet girls from literally all over the world and I like thought I found like a sense of like kinship and like understanding even though we were so like vastly different like there were girls coming all the way from like Singapore and they were like across the spectrum they were all just as bright and empowering and just like just gorgeous inside and out and I think that the pandemic was really like just the most unfortunate thing for a person like me and people like me because you know in my community the rules for quarantine were a lot more forcefully and strict like I didn't go out for eight months at it for eight months the longest period like I just wasn't allowed to go out and my mom didn't go out we literally had groceries delivered to our doorstep my greatest achievements will do one day Find a cure for scoliosis. If there is no future to plan for or to like aspire towards because I didn't know when this like lockdown was gonna end. Like at that point it was getting really bad. I was like literally what is gonna happen? And I guess I just wasn't doing the work. Mind numbing routine of every day wake up, log on to class shut your computer down, and then just go to sleep. Like, to that point, I was just confined to my room. I couldn't get ready or get dressed because there was nothing to get ready for. And I feel like that, like, erasing of routine kind of really affected me and my grades. I share my testimony of being diagnosed and the struggles that follow through my platform, Embrace Yourself. You know, pageantry is more about more than just like performing on the stage like a lot of these girls were doing community work in conjunction with the directors of the pageant too so all of that was just kind of not possible like i was advocating for i think people with scoliosis because i have scoliosis myself and we were making and designing pamphlets for girls my hope is to make teens with scoliosis feel more confident about their bodies and imperfections. Tips for you to adjust your outfits so that you don't feel as awkward in them because you're more aware about like the imbalances because of your scoliosis. And I remember that was completely like it was funded and sponsored by my um, pageant director and she was the one that connected me with the hospital to give the pamphlets out to and that wasn't possible anymore because those things completely shut down, those organizations shut down. I love to learn the piano, play volleyball, and practice writing calligraphy. A Chinese-American eighth grader who believes that positivity is the key to success and that knowledge knows no bounds. A lot of the community projects I was doing, I was very passionate about. Like, I thought that, like, wow, I can't even do these simple things that I really put my work into for my community. From Queens, New York, I'm 13-year-old Asia Chen. I think I'm doing great now. I think um, compared to my last few years, I think I've really like found my passions, risen from whatever slump I was in before, and I think I'm returning to that same ambitious and like inspired person I was pre-pandemic. And I would like to say that it's only an upward trend from here on out.